This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When it comes to websites, online stores, etc., there's no place to build a beautiful online presence like Squarespace. Over the years, SpongeBob has been a major part of my channel. It is the thing that apparently most people know me for. I made some theories, some essays, but I didn't want to do those anymore, right? Because I didn't want to be the SpongeBob guy. But at the same time, I needed some sort of title. I was proud of, of the, the thing I built with all these SpongeBob videos. Even if I didn't want to do them anymore, I wanted something to say, Maybe I am the Spongebob guy. Maybe I don't need to be the best Spongebob theorist. Alex Bale has already set the bar for that. But I do kind of want to be the king of Spongebob videos. And what better way to do that than by watching it for 24 hours straight to prove my love for this show. Okay, so it's a little past 7 a.m. here. About an hour in. A little bit more than an hour at this point. I'm feeling pretty good. I, I made some breakfast been watching Spongebob, which is what I'll be doing the rest of the day. I just want you guys to know that I'm not gonna bullshit this video. You know, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it all the way. There's no point in doing this if I'm not gonna be truthful about it. I wouldn't feel good about that. So just know I'm telling the truth here, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So far, I'm hanging in there, though. So far, I'm hanging in there. I fell asleep. Don't get me wrong, I was still like aware. I it wasn't like a full sleep. I still listened to the episodes and I knew when to take pictures as proof. I got really tired. Um I crashed and I there was nothing I could do about it, but I'm I'm back. I got a big old thing of iced americano with me. You know what? I'm looking at this a little bit more like separating it into, into quarters, you know. This is the, the into 6-hour quarters, right? And this first 6 hours, you know, I only have 3ish hours left. I can't believe I watched three hours of Spongebob already. And like, this is doable, right? I, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of today. It is, it is becoming a much more daunting task than I anticipated. But I'm, you know, I got my coffee. I, I guess I'll just kind of take, uh, what notes are there to take? <laughs> this is so ridiculous, man. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. I'll, I'll see you guys in the, in, uh, the next one. Uh, it is 10 a.m. Things are going all right. I'm feeling a lot more awake, a lot more aware. We've had some great episodes. SpongeBob is being silly as always. Something odd happened though. I had to grab a cord from my office. And, well, let me just, let me show you. I'm going over to my office and I walk in and it's also playing in here. I didn't do that. I, I didn't put that, I don't know what's going on. The time is uh, 11 o'clock. I put on some glasses because I was starting to get a headache. I don't know if it was from the noises of SpongeBob coming from two different rooms in my house, or, or maybe I've just been watching this show for six, almost six hours now. So <laughs> when, when it started playing in my office, that gave me the idea that, you know, I, I need to have this on anywhere I go. Wherever, whatever happens, I need to have SpongeBob playing near me or else this doesn't really feel truthful. So I had an idea. Anytime I go to the bathroom, because I'm gonna need to go to the bathroom, I would have it playing next to me so that, you know, I, n I don't ever get a break. And that's how this is going so far. It's going really great. Can't wait to see these, ne these next episodes. I need to take like an Excedrin or something. It's so painful. It's every, every room I go into, it's a, it's sounds. It's just, it's like, it's laughter and screaming and what this you know what this is doing is it's making me realize I need to do something with my life this is unacceptable around noon I started to get pretty hungry and decided rather than soak in the brain rot on this couch any longer I should go get some lunch but continue watching the show on the way there that's right I, I put it next to me on my drive you know got to peek over a little bit uh, tried to be as safe as possible I got myself a rope of vieja sandwich and uh, enjoyed some more SpongeBob at the spot it's about 1 p.m. Uh, just got lunch. Don't worry, I'm still, still watching it. And I realized I have to run some errands. I'm gonna just take SpongeBob to Target and buy my things. And that's kind of the plan right now. That's, that's how the day's going. I made my way over to Target where I continued watching the show in the shopping cart. I was walking down an aisle of clocks when I came across a mirror and got a good look at myself. A guy willing to waste an entire day to put his mental health on the line for absolutely nothing. Is this what a post Mr. Beast YouTube looks like? Is this, is this what it is? Whatever this is, I'm too deep in to turn back. So let's just keep moving forward. It is slightly past 
2. Just got home from getting some lunch and running some errands while watching SpongeBob. Don't get me wrong, I did not take the time off. If any of you even think about getting mad at me for leaving the house for this thing, you're crazy. This is rotting my brain in ways I cannot even describe. Uh, I needed some oxygen, right? And I don't know if I'm gonna leave the house again today. But you know, we're here, we're back. It's We're almost done with season one, it's great. I do feel a little bit re-energized after getting outside. I feel like I can take on this thing. We're not even halfway there yet. Uh, despite watching this for, for I, I think like, Jesus Christ, I don't know. I don't even know how long we've been watching this for. Great show. Just can't get enough of it, clearly. I will, uh, I'll check in at 3 p.m., but we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing well. Let's hang in. Hello again, it's me. Uh, you know, it's 3... Where is it? 3... 3... 3... 3 p.m. Oh, the life of a YouTuber is so hard. Gotta sit here and watch TV all day. It's just miserable. I hate it. I'm really loving season 2. Season 2 is hitting it out of the park, I will say. It's like every single second of this show is like... It's like, it's like on point. It's a step up in animation, step up in, in uh, writing. It's everything about season two is just hitting. It's really entertaining. I can, I can feel the, the brain melting. So we'll just, we'll check in in a little bit and see where that's at. Hey everybody, Karsten Runquist here. Um. It's 4 p.m. This hour flew by. The last few episodes have been stellar. We had Bubble Buddy, which is a classic. Uh, Hinga Dinga Durgan. The Big Pink Loser, which is... <laughs> gets me every time. And then po the bomb one, the pie bomb, which is just fantastic. That's like one of... The, that's like a top 10 episode, in my opinion, really. But yeah, I had a really good time just now. I, I kind of lost myself in the show for a little bit. I forgot I was doing this, and I was like, wow, this is just... I could just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, whatever. I'm doing great. I'm so, I'm doing this just so great right now. I'm like, mind is clear. I'm acting the way I do all the time. There's nothing, what is wrong? Nothing, nothing is wrong. What are you, I, wait, there's nothing wrong. It is, it's 5 p.m. Yeah, I mean, it's going. So an interesting development is I, I discovered these holes these sponge-like holes on my skin. Don't know if it's related, could be. Besides that, things are going great though. I mean, the, I just watched the Pretty Patties episode, Squidville, which is a classic, obviously. I mean, season two is really just like hit after hit. So y I can't really complain, but yeah, hopefully this is fine. Anyway, we're almost halfway there. Can you believe that? Sun is setting, another day, another sunset. It is officially 6 p.m. It's past 6 p.m. actually, 6.15, so we are over halfway through with this marathon. I'm feeling great. I, I'm, I'm re-energized. We just watched the uh, Christmas special, uh, sang along, had a jolly good time. I'm in a good place, and I and I can, I can see the finish line, even if it is another 12 hours away. <laughs> oh my god. The next time I see the sun, I'll be out of this. And that's reassuring. It's, uh, it's 7 p.m. As you can see, I got it going on in the iPad, pause it on the TV. I don't know, just destroying my eyes. I'm actually hanging in there. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm making a pizza. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have some dinner. That's, I mean, I don't know what else there is to do. It's just watching Spongebob. That's what this is. I'm just gonna watch Spongebob. This is such a test. I feel like I'll be able to watch, like, any movie ever after this. No one's watched anything for 24 hours straight right i mean the most breaks i've taken have been like five minutes at a time you know this is this is insane this is a mermaid man and barnacle boy episode which is why i feel pretty good uh you know talking over it it's like you know barnacle boy hater what, what can i say there's not a whole lot to add here so i'm just gonna i'm gonna sk skip right to the next one all right it's hitting it finally hit i was waiting for this to get unbearable and it's bad now. I was watching Shanghai, which is like a, a childhood favorite. It's like one of the first episodes I remember loving. It's when they go through the, the perfume department, right? And it, it just... You know, I've watched so much Spongebob today that it's become a different thing, right? It's not Spongebob anymore. It's just... It's like this this new show. It's just... It's like... I, this sponge, I feel like I know him on a deeper level. I'm not even trying to be silly about it. I've spent so much time with him where I can't take the absurdity of the show not seriously. Like, I, I have to, like, like, it just feels like the stakes are there, you know? Time is so messed up right now because the episodes started off pretty easy to digest. You know, they're, they're like 10, 15 minutes tops. You, you just fly through them. And that one felt like it lasted forever. So things are in an interesting spot. 
because I still have about 10 hours to go. Is th that is insane. Wondering how I'm gonna get through this, this last portion, especially this being the hardest one as, as I'm venturing deep into the darkness of, of the night. This will go down as, I think, the dumbest video I've ever made. And I've made some dumb videos. Anyway, I'm struggling. That's my diary entry. Let's hope it gets better. Let's hope this gets better, because holy moly. I'm starting to feel a tad bit crazy, I'll be honest. It's 9 p.m., or it's a little bit past 9 p.m. I'm holding this microphone like it's a like it's a staff, like I'm a wizard or something. I just watched the Frankendoodle whatever episode. That episode is just like barely disturbing enough to make me lose my mind right now. There was something really unnerving about it. And then there was the episode about the the secret box, Patrick's secret box, and Patrick's getting like really serious about how this is his secret and you can't go in, you can't look into his secret box. And I took it so seriously and I was like, SpongeBob, stop being an asshole. Like Patrick is insecure and, and let him have this, you know what I mean? It's like that that is his space respect it so yeah i think i'm going crazy as late as it feels it feels fucking late man it feels so late it is nine o'clock i will say i'm looking forward to 10 10 feels like a good number like a 10 that's eight hours more and eight hours feels doable okay eight hours feels very doable i know that based on my position currently that it i may seem like i'm not i'm not doing well but i'm actually doing better than i was before um, oh, no, I want to go back down. I've been talking to my, my buddy, so he's been keeping me company, and we, it's just, you know, it's just kind of just trying to do anything but think about Spongebob right now. Anytime I think too much about it, like right now I'm on an episode where they're, they're like on strike or something, I'm like, what, when, when did this ever happen? But I like clearly remember it happening, and I'm just like, is this the same show that I, that I grew up with? It's getting a little funky. Remember this? I'm looking at these like circles on my wrist, and I'm like, why did I do that? Even if it was a bit, right? I still, at one point, just started drawing circles on my arm. <laughs> what is going on? I just took a shower, I'm in the bathroom. I'm using like a webcam, so it kind of looks bad right now. It's very dark, but I, I mean, it might be funny to, to some people. It's not funny for me anymore. I'm not, I'm not having fun anymore, I'll tell you that much. There's something really depressing about what is happening right now i'm i'm watching a show that used to be a comfort show something that i could put on as much as i wanted i could rewatch an episode as many times as i wanted but it would still make me laugh and it would still make me feel happy i'm taking a show like that that's so comforting and brings me so much happiness and i'm making it such a burden in my life i'm i'm turning it into this thing that where, where i'm just like desensitized to it patrick doesn't make me laugh anymore you know i don't really know what the point of this video is you know some of my videos i know i say that a lot with 12 hour movie theater video i was like well let's just see what it's like to spend this much time in a theater and when i watch like all the illumination movies i'm like it's good to inform myself of all the uh the wonderful work that illumination has put out but this video it seems mostly just to make myself as miserable as possible. It's not that fun. Just have to ask if this is fun for anyone else. <laughs> I'm in a weird place right now because it feels like this isn't even ha happening anymore, right? It doesn't feel real. I'm too awake to be like fully asleep, but I'm like so tired that this feels kind of disorienting. I'm not creeped out, but it gives me the same like uneasy feeling that watching like SpongeBob creepypastas gave me. I think you, you spend so much time with such exaggerated, strange, absurd characters that when it starts to feel normal, it starts to feel like they're hiding something. Like these characters are hiding something darker and more serious than we're ready to confront. I think I just need to go to bed really. Every now and then I, s there it is see myself in the reflection and then I'm gone it's uh, two in the morning I was falling asleep on the couch if I fell asleep on the couch this would all be for nothing and I, I can't I can't go through that right now I really like the uh, sand in this show I like that it's like paint splatters watch this show every day as a child I've done countless videos on it never noticed the paint splatters i almost like need to keep looking at it i mean that's the point of the video right watch it for 20 but i have to i like can't take my eyes off it like i have to constantly be looking at like colors and movement and sound or else i'm gonna fall asleep and then i'm afraid that if i close my eyes i'm gonna see him in my in my darkness the spongebob the man we're so close to the finish line here i feel every second of this every second i have nothing else to say let's i'll just let's let's move on.
It's 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> This is insane. I've been looking forward to this moment for a while because it's a, it's a change. We're gonna switch from SpongeBob to the SpongeBob movie because I thought it'd be fun if we ended this with the SpongeBob movie. It's a big thing. The ultimate SpongeBob episode, right? Jesus Christ, I almost literally fell asleep. I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. If I'm too tired to speak at the end of this, because I'm assuming this movie is gonna kick my ass, I feel like now is a good time to reflect on this experience. But this has been a trip. Um, I, I don't really feel like I took away literally anything. It's not like, I love Spongebob, but what are we doing here, man? <laughs> um, I feel like I got to see the show grow up, and I feel like I watched a child become its best self, and then I watched me, I, I watched myself just de just deteriorate. If you're out there and you would like to pursue the YouTube lifestyle, you know, this is the life. This is it. This is what we all do it for. Let me just, let me get on with this movie. Before you head out, I want to thank this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a place where you can go online to build that brand of yours, whether it's an online store, a blog, a portfolio, you name it. They have professional portfolio designs where you can create galleries for your work, as well as password protected pages for clients. Me personally, I'm a big fan of their video block feature, which allows me to showcase some of my favorite videos and films and other work. Plus, they have a built in mobile web designer where no matter what website, uh, you make it's gonna look great no matter what platform it's on while still matching your style but the best part about it all is that if you go to squarespace.com slash karsten you can get 10 percent off of your first purchase so really there's no reason not to give it a chance so thanks to squarespace for sponsoring this video thanks for watching this video and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs>